every single day we argue. Danny Griffin hasn't been on Teen Mom 2 for years, but he's still just as problematic as ever. Ever since the camera stopped rolling, his life has continued to be an absolute roller coaster, and everything that's happened to Nathan over the last few years has been honestly insane. It's been four years since we last saw what Janelle Evans' ex fiance Nathan was up to, and there have been some crazy changes in his life since then. Unfortunately, not a lot of them have been for the better. I think a lot of Teen Mom viewers were hoping that Nathan would be able to stay out of trouble for the sake of his son Kazer, whom he shares with Janelle. But that doesn't exactly appear to be the case. Nathan's life has taken so many dark and tragic turns that it's shocking. After Janelle was let go by MTV in April 2019, Nathan stopped appearing on Teen Mom 2 as well. The last time we saw him, he was in an on-again, off-again relationship with Ashley Landhart. He'd been with her since 2017, but Ashley supposedly broke up with Nathan at the end of 2020. I wonder if she got tired of the constant drama and court date. I mean, just over the last few years, Nathan's legal issues have been seriously unthinkable. In October 2019, Nathan was arrested for driving under the influence. At the time, he was in a ridiculous battle with Janelle over custody of Kayser, and obviously, adding another arrest to his lengthy track record wasn't helpful. When it comes to Nathan's criminal background, it's pretty intense. I'm sure some people remember that Nathan was previously arrested for allegedly causing physical harm to Janelle, but that wasn't his only run with a cop. He'd also been in trouble before for driving while under the influence, and just a couple of months after his 2019 arrest, Nathan had another incident with the police. That time, he wasn't arrested, but it really sounded like he was at an extremely low point. In January 2020, Nathan rang in the new year in a startling way. Allegedly, his mom, Doris Davidson, had accidentally hit his car with her own vehicle while pulling up to his house. After that, he reportedly refused to let her inside and started making threats about ending his own life. I know Nathan isn't everyone's cup of tea, but obviously, that's a terrifying situation for anyone to be in. Doris supposedly tried to call his phone over 50 times to be let inside because she was understandably worried about Nathan's mental health. She finally called the cops for help, which led to another unimaginable situation. After the police arrived, Nathan agreed to be taken to a hospital for the day to address his emotional struggles. I know that he was open about having served in the Marines on Team Mom, but he didn't talk too much about the mental effects of that. What he ended up revealing about his mental health after his hospitalization was honestly unexpected. According to what Nathan told the US Sun, the aftermath of being in the military had a serious impact on his mental health. He admitted that on top of having post-traumatic stress disorder, he also suffered a traumatic brain injury while serving overseas. I know Nathan gets a lot of hate and he really has done some inexcusable things, but I have to admit, the way he was affected by being in the military really is terrible. That being said, it's still tough to try to look past all of his arrests and the major accusations that have been made against him. And what happened after the incident on New Year's Day was incredibly alarming. In July 2020, a woman who claimed to be a former friend of Nathan's filed a restraining order against him, and I can't believe how disturbing this is. Allegedly, Nathan had been messaging seriously disturbing threats to her. She reported in court that he'd even showed up uninvited to her home multiple times, which led her to call the cop. And judging from what else the woman revealed, Nathan's behavior was downright horrifying. Not only was Nathan's presence very much unwanted, but supposedly he was under the influence of substances and acting really aggressively. For months, the woman allegedly tried to get him to stop, but eventually she had to get the court on her side. Then a few months later, Nathan and Janelle actually wrapped up their custody battle. In October 2020, it was revealed that the two had reached an unbelievable agreement. Even though Janelle kept primary physical custody of Kayser, Nathan was granted visitation with him every other weekend. Overall, I feel like the agreement was a pretty good situation for Nathan, and it even gave him several weeks in a row with Kayser during the summer. For a while, he was even able to line up visitation times with his daughter Emery, who's a few years older than Kayser, so that both kids could see each other. Nathan was even making a 20-hour round trip drive from Florida to North Carolina every other weekend in order to see Kayser. At the time, Team Mom followers were so grateful for Nathan's seemingly consistent involvement with his son for an outrageous reason. This is honestly insane. For years, Janelle and her husband, David Eason, have fought back at the widespread public opinion that they don't take very good care of Kayser. There are a lot of people who feel like the now nine-year-old has been neglected at times by his mom and stepdad and that they were rooting for Nathan to secure visitations. But when Nathan talked to the US son about how co-parenting was going with Janelle and David, I was floored by what he revealed. It seriously seemed like they'd all achieved the impossible. Nathan, Janelle, and David had allegedly been able to co-parent and communicate without trashing each other. They were all seemingly trying to keep Kajer's best interests in mind, which is what should have been going on all along. Everything was going so smoothly, which is why I was honestly in disbelief by what the publication reported not long after. Just two months later in November 2021, The Sun shared that Nathan was at an all-time low and was severely depressed. He'd been sharing on social media that he lost everything and wasn't even eating much anymore. I thought he must have really been going through it when he added that 
he was no longer interested in going to the gym. And then things took another unexpected turn for the worse. Allegedly, Nathan was hospitalized for mental health concerns shortly after. One of his Instagram lives revealed that he'd been brought in by the police against his will. As much as I'm sure Nathan hated not having control of the situation, it seemed like the best option if he really needed help. And although the video was quickly deleted, what supposedly happened next proved something major must have taken place. This is seriously unreal. After Nathan's apparent hospitalization speculation started circulating about how his visitations rights had changed, reportedly, he wasn't allowed to see Kazer without Doris being present, which was a huge shift from just a couple of months earlier, and that's not even the craziest part. Allegedly, even the visits that the custody order allowed started happening less often. Obviously, everyone was curious about the rumors that Nathan wasn't involved with his son anymore, and I can see why. It was such a sudden change, which led many to come up with an astonishing theory. Some people wondered if Nathan's mental health struggles had caused him to stop visiting Kayser as often, and combined with his substance issues, I don't think this theory is exactly far-fetched. Others questioned whether Nathan's potential job was maybe getting in the way of him making this super long drive for visitations. But considering the update that he gave to the US Sun, that didn't seem to be the case. Shockingly, his situation was even more bizarre than we thought. According to the publication, Nathan's mental health might have been a factor in all this, since he was at a very rocky point. Apparently, because of his brain injury and PTSD, he was considered 100% disabled by the Veterans Affairs Office. The official government website for the office explained that Nathan's total disability percentage meant that his day-to-day -day functioning was greatly affected, and that's not all. The website also shared that Nathan's mental health conditions and brain injury could actually contribute to him behaving unpredictably and dangerously toward himself or others. I can't help but wonder if maybe that's why he allegedly wasn't able to see Kayser without Doris around. But apparently the disability benefit that Nathan is bringing in each month are somewhere around 4000 which leads me to another topic about his life that's been incredibly mysterious for a while. I feel like a lot of people have been curious for a long time now about what Nathan has been doing for work. He briefly mentioned on his Instagram that he tried to get a so-called real job at the end of 2019, which apparently didn't work out. But besides from his military benefits, there's another jaw-dropping way that he makes money. He's been promoting his side hustle for some time, and it might catch you off guard. Believe it or not, Nathan has actually been selling adult content online for about a year and a half. I'm not sure how much it makes him, but he promotes it all over his social media. And for a while, he wasn't just promoting his own content. For months, Nathan was also hyping up someone else's website, and you'll never guess who that was. As crazy as it sounds, Nathan was sharing links to an adult website run by his wife. That's right, he seriously got married in April 2022. Supposedly, the marriage even stunned his own family. I feel like that's never a great sign. Nathan revealed to the US Sun that he and Myra Oyola had a private casual ceremony in Miami, Florida. Just weeks later, Janelle gave her two cents about Nathan's marriage, but that wasn't all she talked about. Everything she had to say was absolutely insane. According to Celeb Magazine, Janelle was happy for the newlyweds, but mostly had concerns about Nathan. She claimed that he hadn't seen Kayser in a while and was still really struggling with his substance issues. I feel like most of the time when Janelle exposes personal details, she doesn't have good motives, but this time she actually seemed sort of worried and she apparently wasn't the only one. The outlet also reported that sources close to Nathan's family had revealed that he was in counseling. I think that was one of the few positives happening in his life, but he was still acting so odd. Nathan talked to different news outlets about wanting to have another child with Myra, which was pretty wild considering he wasn't seeing his other kid. The insiders who spoke to Celeb Magazine also explained the reason why his family was so shocked by his marriage. This is honestly mind-boggling. Allegedly, Nathan and Myra spent most of the time arguing and barely even seemed to get along. I think his family must have known how troubling the situation really was. Just months later, Nathan and Myra's marriage went downhill in an unbelievable way. In August 2022, Nathan posted on his Instagram story that he was basically homeless and needed a place to stay. He claimed that his wife was crazy and made him feel trapped, so he was going to be living in his car. As I'm sure you probably expected, none of his followers offered their house up to Nathan, but before long, it almost seemed like the entire ordeal had never happened in the first place. Nathan and his wife were apparently on good terms again because he started posting about how great she was on Instagram. But after their couple's vacation to Las Vegas in December 2022, Myra and Nathan stopped following each other on social media. They're obviously not together anymore, but there haven't been any public divorce filings revealed yet. I couldn't believe how quickly Nathan seemed to go back to sharing bizarre Instagram rants about religion, aliens, and everything that he thinks is wrong with society. But sadly, it didn't take long before he was involved in some real life 
drama again. Just recently, he was arrested again, and this time, it was for something extremely scary. At the end of February, Nathan was arrested for allegedly causing serious physical harm to his new girlfriend, Victoria. According to the police report and court documents, which were obtained by Starcasm, the two were living together at a Florida residence, and based on the details in the police report, I think it's safe to say that Janelle was right, and Nathan is still really involved with substances. This is seriously startling. Nathan reportedly tried to lie his way out of the situation after his brother-in-law called the cops on him. Because of his strange behavior and how he seemed to be very much under the influence of substances, I'm sure it was clear what had happened. Victoria allegedly had visible marks on her from the incident, and eventually, Nathan was taken into custody. Because of all this, he got a few court dates coming up, and parts of his future are probably going to look a whole lot different very soon. Nathan is facing DV charges, and there is now a no-contact order in place to protect Victoria. He was supposedly bonded out the day after his arrest, but he hasn't shared any updates or spoken publicly about the unsettling incident. In the next couple of months, Nathan has a few court dates to address, the alarming charges, as well as the no-contact order. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I have a feeling that Nathan's visitation rights with Kayser are probably going to be affected, considering he wasn't seeing his son very often even before his recent arrest. It's really unfortunate that Nathan hasn't had much luck in turning his life around. Hopefully, he's able to get some professional help for his mental health and substance issues so that he can make some positive changes for himself and his kids. But what do you guys think of all this? What do you think about Nathan's recent arrest? And what are your thoughts on everything else that's happened to him since we last saw him on MTV? Let me know in the comments below.